So when I bought this building, we knew we wanted to expand upon what we were able to do with the CNC. So we built her her room, if you remember, and still needs a little bit of tweaking. We knew we'd have an opportunity to expand upon the Avid CNC because they're expandable. We are going to do so and bump this baby out, I think another six feet, so we can have a 16 foot bed on the CNC. We also upgraded the dust collection system. We gotta get that hooked up and we're doing a vacuum table. This should be pretty epic. Let's rip. So Avid sent over a bunch of extension rails and they use these aluminum extrusions. They're super easy to work with and it's how the CNC was built before. But I have no idea how this thing goes together. So Jordan's up. I'll see you guys later. Well, Jordan, you're in charge here. I don't know how to use the CNT. I don't even know where the on switch is, to be honest with you. Well, that's the first thing we're gonna actually move, so I'll show you. So the first thing we gotta do is take off the front parts here, move all the wiring, get it out of the way, and we're gonna bump this thing out. I honestly don't know how long it's gonna be. I told you on 16 feet, but it might be longer. We'll see. We'll put the vacuum pump in that's in that big box. The run of the story, some piping for that. We'll add the spoil board. And 10 feet of it's gonna be vacuum table in the back. The rest in the front's gonna be like dog holes. There's just so much going on. I'm gonna take that red thing off because I think it's in the way. Let's push the gantry back. So, when John hired me, Miss Piggy was already assembled, so kinda made some tweaks, but I never actually fully built out the machine. Kinda just learning as we go. But Avid has really good support and documentation on how their machines go together, and they're made to be expandable, which is why we went with Avid. Found the extension. Oh, Lord. Can you, like, walk through this? Don't get the forklift. Why? Because I have the same, like, level, and you can only pick it up from the front. It's kind of, I just don't want to. Or you two go in the back. Yeah. I just don't want to screw it up like we did earlier. You're going to have to readjust it anyway, so. Ready? Oh boy. Well, that's all we get. That's what we got. Yeah. I think we're going to need to move it. 18 inches. I kind of like it a little bit offset from the door. That way, I mean, back to here to here is going to be the most used path. Right. If it's and a little tighter just... here, it's not the only way. Well, then I'd say we just kick it off the foot right now before we get too involved. In okay. You two on that side. That's good. Maybe we could just like mock that up. I think that might be the move. Okay. Build like a small square and then okay. take her in. I don't know, look like something, Jordan. Sorta. We got something going on. This is pretty extra. That's the feel of it. It's not I mean, it's more room than we have in the last one. We built the room for fitting. So we got the OG Miss Piggy leveled and everything. So now Sam and I assembled the new extension piece, which is roughly six by six, which is huge. We like it how it's laid out, don't we? I mean, it's a little tight right here, which we were concerned about. This is fine. And like, I don't know. I mean, we're in it now. Yeah. If it really sucks, we'll move it. Yeah. So the way these connect, they use these connectors, I don't know the official term, linear splice kit. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. So this leg was in the way of these, so we moved that down, and then we'll attach this. Doing a lot of back and forth, kind of like make everything fit right. We want to add the vertical spoil board at the end. Mounting the computers up here wasn't going to work. Luckily, this is a short little bar. We're going to stash it right here in the middle, and we're going to mount our uh, the computer there. It'll actually look pretty clean. I've never done this, as you can tell, but we're learning. Me and Sam are having fun. I don't know where John is. He came to this door. He looked at me. I saw him look. He didn't even wave, and then he just laughed. Do we smell bad? Finally put in the cross members and Sam off camera cut some spacer blocks. What'd you do? We want to uh, install this. Who's we? Me and Sam, but I mean, there's a way to do it. We want it to be quick like how Sam is and just slide it on. But uh, we figure out how big Miss Piggy is now. And That's kind of in the way, huh? You could cut a hole in the wall. Could cut a hole in the wall. No, I'll just have to take, take them off. Yeah. So, I talked to Corey, our buddy over at Avid CNC. Most CNCs that Avid sells, they don't come in six foot extensions. So, we had to cut the rack. We're at 16 feet, where usually the biggest thing is like five by 10, and ours is actually six by 16. Jordan, is it gonna go where no CNC has gone before? See how good our connections are, so it's up. Hey boy. Oh uh, yeah, stop, stop, stop. I can feel the lip. Turns out I did not do a great job over here. Want something done right. I hate you so much. 
Why? I'm gonna take this off. That's all square. Put everything together, and then Sam looked down, and the rails had a big old belt. Well, this one bellied this way. That way. So we checked our extension, that's perfectly square, but Miss Piggy 1.0 was out half an inch, probably from whenever we were jag offs moving it, like gorillas. And the bumpy trailer ride here probably didn't help either. No, and it fell off a few dollies a couple times, and past us really screwed future us. We're just gonna loosen all these bolts probably and try and like square the original one out. And I don't know. All right, let's get back to work. Been battling what feels like all day with this thing not being square, so I've got a ratchet strap around it. Jordan's a creep right there, so we're gonna ratchet strap corner and try to yank the thing into square. I don't know what's going on anymore, so we're gonna just give it a go and hope for the best. That should be it. Yeah, we wanna go. Oh, that's not tied in yet. Let's double check it and then we'll tie it in. That almost did it? That almost did it. Oh, it's square! Jordan, it feels like something's happening. Potentially, <laughs> to rewind everything. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like I've done this 12 times today. Oh, we did it. We did it like three or four yesterday. Going up. And let's see. Oh. Back bottom. We're taking this bitch to the moon. Oh, Jordan. Beautiful. Oh, it's like the straightest thing you've ever seen. All right, it is now the third day of expanding the CNC. Yesterday took a little longer than we thought, but I think the reason we actually got out square, I was thinking about this, I actually woke up at 3.30 in the morning and figured it out. We moved this leg ever so slightly back, and it's probably not the same distance as that one to put this cross member in. I think that's what caused us to be out of square, but it's okay. Sam finally arrived. It's 8.30. I've been here since six. I don't think that's true. I have 47 seconds into this clip. Well, everything wired up now. Dang. Time to give her life? Yeah. Well, let's go get the laptop and bring Miss Piggy back to life. I don't like the look on her face. For how to use this. Oh. Gorg. Well, it, does, it only thinks it can go up to there. Oh, There's you have to reset that. Yeah. I don't know anything about this. It seems to be riding smooth. I've heard so. We put it together four times. The next day. So we noticed whenever we were running this, our cable track's so long, it dips and it kind of clicks on that. Uh oh. John is over in the metal shop, so I had to call him dad to help me with my science project. Oh yeah, the children were slap dicking together. We're gonna make Jordan a little box here. Little bank, so we can solve Jordan's little problem. My problems become your problems. I'm aware, but I think this will be a little bit more of an elegant solution. John made this metal thing that protects this, so now when the cable touches it, it slides over instead of these plastic things getting stuck to each other and making a horrible noise and probably ruining it. So nice. So I drilled four holes to make sure the pantry is square to itself. I just used quarter inch end mills. And yeah, she's dead on. Sweet. So the gantry squared itself. Next, I'm gonna do a test cut to make sure that the spindle is perfectly to this before we go and do our, our spoil board stuff because we don't want a big slope. The thing's finally ready for the vacuum table. So we're using melamine. We need to make it like an airtight box, basically. As you can see, the edge is no bueno. We tried to order edge banding for it, but we ordered or we're given the wrong kind. I'm still not sure what happened. So we're gonna use Flex Seal. We're gonna build a boat out of the screen door. Not only does it stay afloat, but the inside is completely dry. We're in it now. We're gonna start by taking a little sanding block, just knocking off the edges on this because it was a little bit sharp. Try not to get it on the beautiful bear. After a couple trips around Home Depot, the employees were starting to know us by name. I bought like a pocket door track system that I think is gonna do what we need with minimal overhandling, you know what I mean? So pocket doors use a piece like this and there's a little clip that goes on here, but it turns out you can take off that part and then put on an eye hook. Put this in here. And I mean, oh, come on, that's gonna be perfect. Hickory and Dickory over here got both rails onto the ceiling with one loop in each. I'm betting two's not gonna work. It needs to be on a single rail with two hooks. What's the bet? Lunch? That's fine. Jordan really doesn't like that I'm questioning what he's doing here. He is literally living in a butthurt I river. I a solution and you're like, that's not what I thought. I was asking why two because I've never seen two. I like to spend your money. 
Yeah. So anyway, we're looping them up, and these will be easily to take down if they don't work. But let's see if the boys have a good solution. This looks great. That looks like a very confident face right there. So confident. Bye, Steph. I think you're onto something here. I think we didn't have 85 feet of hose. This is the first time I think any of us will ever complain about too much hose. Am I right? All right. Um... Wah, wah. Send it. What happened? That means you're not so close to it. Now it's a stiff hose. All right. All right. Give it slack and then tighten it down. And then go all the way right. What seems to be the issue? When we move it around, the cable's choking it. So, just a figurative question here. As it is tangled in that back right corner because you have the left side further back than the right, now jog that all the way up to here. Is that what you want? Jogger son. So, see the dilemma? What's that smirk? They're two independent things. They're not gonna move independently because they're not rigid, right? So the only way you're gonna get that thing to come back this way is by having pressure on that pulley with this pulley. So you need that one to bump this one to pull it. If not, it's gonna pull past it, and then that one's gonna drag behind, and the hose is just gonna twist. Wait, time to get it a cable? No, you're gonna put it on one track. I like two. Well, two's wrong. Try it, try it with the, with the slack out. It doesn't matter if it stays back there. It's a matter of when it starts to pull. See how they're... Ah, everything's breaking! One track. <laughs> they hate me. <laughs> when the machine was connected the way it was, you either had 16 feet of slack that it was choking itself with, or you had no slack and it was ripping itself apart. Putting this in the middle, you theoretically have the shortest amount of slack possible at any given moment. I'm at a loss for words. We've completely ruined Jordan's toy here. I don't think we can fix this. Let's make the vacuum table. So, we just cut a really cool looking grid. This is for our vacuum system from Black Box. There's a link down below in the description. Check them out. They are a single phase vacuum pump solution system for CNC's, which is awesome. We got their model, the Hurricane model. It's their biggest model that they sell. Uh, they have three other models. We're gonna set this up. Part of the CNC is gonna be for like our sheet goods, so it's gonna suck it down. There's gonna be four zones, so you can turn them on and off and control it. Yeah, so we got a bunch of pipe from the store, and we gotta read how to install this. Let's do it. You're gonna be the screw guy. Well, this is gonna be really hard to line up, isn't it? Um, maybe do you wanna go pop? I smush her. I could probably like grab it. Oh yeah, just step on the brand new vacuum. Okay, I got two in. Have a good weekend. Be safe. Alright, see ya. As you can tell, John just left. It is not even close to five. Yeah. He uh comes in and he tells us figure it out, do it our own way. Then we do it our own way. He doesn't like it, then he comes in. Or just changes the whole game plan. Here before we're gonna run the play. Cause I like to go home too, since I've been here so long. It was actually really nice before everyone got here. Three days later. We're what? back, it's Monday. So we're gonna get ripping on this, put the rest of the drains in, and then do the rough piping of this. We're not gonna glue it all yet, cause we wanna make sure it works, and then we'll come back through, test that it works. And then we, we got a lot of work to do, Sam, and John wants this done by like tomorrow. Oh, beautiful. Water. Send it. So right now, we're just dry fitting everything. Basically, we have to make a big network of pipes, a maze. This looks so serious. Oh, it's serious. I kind of feel like the blue man group under here. So we've got a couple of them. Um, these two figured out. Kind of got overzealous and didn't film it. But basically, we figured out our height down from the valves to like, the elbows and everything. So coming off the drain with the height. And then we figured out the distance over with this one here. These are all still roughed together. But now, put a piece there and then all of them should have plumb. And here's what it looks like from under here. There's a shower drain glued to the melamine. And then there's a bunch of pipe fittings. And then this spaghetti monster over here goes to the four zones, and then there'll be these four valves so that we can shut off each zone if we're not using it. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't get up. Theoretically, it'd pull air now, right? Through these. Let's test if she sucks. It needs MDF on top, so I don't know if it'll fully seal, but I'm scared. But Fire in the primer. Yeah. That's 
incredible. It's not glued together. It'll probably pull harder once the MDS on it. Two and then shower cap drains with a would have done all that. That's slick. We did it, Jordan. Thanks, Black Box. Hey, Jordan. I just spent a lot of time gluing things together. How'd it go? You did a great job, except uh, we both forgot about that. Maybe we can, like, cant it just a little bit. Jordan, I glued the whole thing together. I mean, it's PVC. There's some wiggle. How are we that though? Are you shocked? Because I'm not. What if you just run a lidless? Take that part out. I can't even get this out. Uh, this is what I'm going on. Maybe cut it low, and that way we could just replace this. Cause we bought this. I don't know if that's proprietary against this. Yeah, do it off the bottom. We can always get a new elbow. We're gonna go like this. Well, after a trip to Home Depot and some re-gluing of some parts, we got the filter on its side now. Now it doesn't hit. Yay! Time to see if it works. Ready? Yeah, I'm gonna look right here where I can see it's like curved up. So, we all like the rough idea of the spoil board layout. It's so ridiculous. Yeah! 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 Where did you come from? I finally got off the phone today. Yeah! So you're gonna turn the vacuum on, Yeah. hit the one side, flip it, permanently fix it down, and then do the whole thing. Make the whole thing one plane. Sounds like an above average plan. All right, let's see if we did this right. So I only have zones one and two on. Should it move? And it's like a smaller piece. That's crazy. Pulling through the MDF. Ah! You don't feel anything. It's so weird. Well, hot damn. I don't think I did a thing on this entire video. No, no. I yelled and then I helped screw that in, told you how wrong you were, and then I left. But thing looks awesome. So what we've got is dog holes for reference. I don't know what the plan is for hold downs over here on like slabs and stuff, because that's Jordan's prerogative, but we'll figure that out down the line. Still gotta figure out dust collection, but we do have 16 feet now. Is that like a record? She's big. I'm really looking forward to doing a lot of projects on this. If you're looking forward to us doing more projects, make sure you're subscribed and then go watch this playlist. Promise, it's great.